students. Today, we're going to learn how to divide a four-digit number by a one-digit number using something called the long division method. We'll take it slow, go step by step, and make sure everything makes sense. Let's get started with our example. We are going to divide 4,672 by 4. First, we set up the division problem using the long division bracket. We write the number 4,672 under the division bracket. This number is called the dividend. It's the big number we are dividing. Then, we write the number 4 outside the division bracket to the left. This number is called the divisor. It's the number we are dividing by. Divide the first digit. Now look at the first digit of 4,672. That's the number 4. We ask, how many times does 4 go into 4? That's easy. 4 goes into 4 exactly one time. So we write the number 1 on top of the division bracket, right above the 4. Now we multiply. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Then we subtract. 4 minus 4 equals 0. We write the 0 under the 4 and draw a line to show subtraction. So far, our answer on top is 1. Now we bring down the next digit in the dividend. The next digit in 4672 is 6. So we bring down the 6 and now we are looking at the number 6. We repeat the same steps. Divide, multiply, subtract. Divide again. We ask, how many times does 4 go into 6? 4 goes into 6 one time. Because 4 times 1 equals 4, and 4 times 2 equals 8, which is too big. So we write 1 on top of the division bracket, above the 6. Now our answer on top is 11. Multiply and subtract again. Now multiply. 1 times 4 equals 4. Now subtract. 6 minus 4 equals 2. We write the 2 under the 6. Bring down the next digit. Now we bring down the next digit from the dividend, which is 7. We place the 7 next to the 2, and now we have the number 27. Divide again. We ask, how many times does 4 go into 27? Let's try. 4 times 6 equals 24. Close 4 times 7 equals 28. Too big. So 4 goes into 27 6 times. We write 6 above the 7. Now our answer on top is 116. Multiply. 6 times 4 equals 24. Subtract. 27 minus 24 equals 3. Write the 3 under the 27. Bring down the final digit. Now bring down the last digit in 4672, which is 2. Put the 2 next to the 3. Now we have 32. Divide one last time. We ask, how many times does 4 go into 32? Let's try. 4 times 8 equals 32. That's perfect. So we write 8 on top of the bracket, above the 2. Now our final answer on top is 1168. Final multiply and subtract. Multiply. 8 times 4 equals 32. Subtract. 32 minus 32 equals 0. We are done. There are no digits left to bring down and no remaining. Final answer. 4,672 divided by 4 equals 1,168. Another example. We are going to divide 3,816 by 2. First, we set up the division problem using the long division bracket. We write the number 3,816 under the division bracket. This number is called the dividend. It's the number we want to divide. Then, we write the number 2 outside the division bracket to the left. This number is called the divisor. It's the number we are dividing by. Now, look at the first digit of 3,816. That's the number 3. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 3? 2 goes into 3 one time, because 2 times 1 equals 2. 
and 2 times 2 equals 4, which is too big. So we write 1 on top of the division bracket, right above the 3. Multiply. 1 times 2 equals 2. Subtract. 3 minus 2 equals 1. We write the 1 under the 3. Now we bring down the next digit in the dividend. That digit is 8. We place the 8 next to the 1, and now we are working with the number 18. Divide again. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 18? Let's try. 2 times 9 equals 18. Perfect. We write 9 above the 8. Now the answer on top is 19. Multiply. 9 times 2 equals 18. Subtract. 18 minus 18 equals 0. We write the 0 under the 18. Bring down the next digit. Now bring down the next digit in the dividend, which is 1. We are now working with the number 1. Divide again, we ask. How many times does 2 go into 1? 2 does not go into 1 because 2 is bigger than 1. So we write 0 above the 1. Now our answer on top is 190. Multiply. 0 times 2 equals 0. Subtract. 1 minus 0 equals 1. We write the 1 under the 1. Bring down the final digit. Now bring down the last digit in the dividend, which is 6. We now have the number 60. Divide one last time. We ask, how many times does 2 go into 16? Let's try. 2 times 8 equals 16. That's perfect. We write 8 on top of the bracket, above the 6. Now the final answer on top is 1908. Multiply. 8 times 2 equals 16. Subtract. 16 minus 16 equals 0. There are no digits left to bring down and no remainder. 3816 divided by 2 equals 1908. 1,816 divided by 2 equals 1,908.